Yeah, I know you saw that thumbnail. This ain't clickbait, that's a real charge. So let's cue the intro and get this video started. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ and that's right. This video will be showcasing Reinhardt charges. We've got charges that will toss enemies off the map while you stay alive, charges to maneuver across buildings, and most importantly, charges that are, well, impractical, but absolutely hilarious if you can manage to pull it off. And listen, I'm not much of a Rhine player myself, so I had some help. Take it away. Hi, I'm Liam, also known as Dive Rhine, for the stupid flanks and charges I do. I was a main tank for Team Ireland at Overwatch World Cup 2019, and I'm currently with the Olympians who were in EU Contenders Trials. So let's get started with the first map, Hanamore. This one is for the attackers to pin the enemy Rhine or tank off the map behind the first point, while staying alive and immediately having point presence. The key is to start the charge along this line here, and go towards the left of the bell instead of the right. The right side requires a less reliable setup since you have to start the charge from further away, so stick to the left. Make sure you don't hold jump while charging or else you boost yourself off the cliff as well. For Horizon, this charge is mostly for movement to cross from the right side high ground to the left by bouncing off the two beams here. If you're lucky, this charge can also give you the opportunity to get a cheeky pin on the enemy. On Paris, since teams usually hold the high ground here, a viable tactic is to rotate to the right and force them off. As soon as you enter this doorway, line up a charge towards the back corner of point. Make sure to aim it towards the lamppost, because if you angle too much to the left, they won't fall off. For Anubis, this charge is the fastest way for a defending Rhine to get back to first point if they die early. There are two places you can do it from. The first one is here, up on this block, and to bounce off the second block. The second way is to just start from the second block if you're scared you might mess it up and miss it while using the first method. An important note is that you have to stay on the right side of this broken bridge and then jump up. If you aim towards the left, you'll just fall. For Voskaya, this charge is useful for attackers to clear Sniper Island if there's no one else on your team dealing with them. Come up to the right side stairs, jump on the forklift, then make sure to aim towards the leftward slope. For Blizzard World Defense, if you start up here and there's no one dealing with an enemy sniper on the top left, you can jump on top of this piece of wood, aim your charge to the left of the high ground, then start curving to the right when you reach the corner and grind your way up. For Icon, this charge is the perfect way to skip the enemy front line and head straight for the back line, dive round style. Start close to the edge, aim rightwards and grind off the first slope. If you don't aim to the right side enough, you will fall, so be careful. For Hollywood, this pin requires quite a bit of setup and is great for adding to your montage of flank shatters. Go up to the elevator, hop on the support beams to the corner, then charge towards the roof of this building and slide up and off towards the main choke. For King Throw, this charge is great for the end of the checkpoint here to drop off enemy tanks or an ulting zen off the map. This one puts you up against the wall so you don't have to worry about charging too close or too far. Just pin as close to the left side ledge as you can. For Nambani, this one is a movement charge to glide across the high grounds. You just have to aim across the traffic light, like so. If you're lucky, you can get a cheeky kill as well. I should have got their hands up. Oh shit! For Dorado, this one is for attacking second phase when the payload gets held around this corner. Start the charge and pin the enemy Rhine towards the edge of the map and drop them off. Make sure you go for this ledge if you start the charge from here as indicated. Because if you go for the right side of the coast here, it's a little too far away. For Havana, this one requires quite a bit of setup. So it works best when you win an early fight on first phase and have a little downtime before the enemy comes back for one more contest just before the checkpoint. Come up to the high ground, hop on these little ledges to the end, aim towards the right side of the window and then let it rip. And you might be able to snag someone at the window. It's very cheesy, but I've done it in a game, so it's definitely possible. On Junkertown, this charge is for movement and quick engagement off the attacking spawn towards the defenders. Start by going up the stairs, then charge behind the sign, glide across and make sure to hold jump at the end, get a little hop to make it over and then swing away. For Rialto, this charge is for attackers to clear the top right high ground so they don't shred your backline as you push the payload. Start by going up the stairs and spawn to the high ground and then start the charge around here and you'll be grand. For Route 66, this one is a movement charge to get yourself as an attacker to the defender spawn. 
The key is to jump and start on this low block. You can also curve it leftwards to pin against the inside wall if you happen to connect on a defender walking back from spawn, as this is a common path they take. For Gibraltar, this spot begins with you climbing up to the top of the aircraft. Now you have two options. You can go to the left side or the right side for a cheeky kill or a quick reposition. On downtown, if you round the corner of this middle wall and go for a charge, you can pin tanks playing close or snag an enemy that's busy fighting on point. With the edge of the map being curved, you can pick and choose where to drop the enemies off. If you feel like you started the charge too close, go towards the farther part of the curve near the center. If you feel like your charge is about to run out of distance, pick the closer end of the curve. On Sanctuary, this charge begins by going wide on the drum side and charging through the circle window to kill any snipers or supports that hang out here. The key is to curve the charge and turn to stay as close to the wall as possible. For mecha base, this charge is great when your team is getting funneled at this choke here. Come out, jump left, initiate your charge immediately to catch them off guard. Since there's usually so many enemies here, you might want to call for your desire to bubble you as you pull this one off. For lighthouse, right at this choke, stay on the far side of the path then jump, turn, and charge towards the center of point. You pass through the back door and dump the enemy off the map, no problem. On runes, this is a very powerful Widow map, and if your Widow is useless, sometimes you gotta take matters into your own hands. Jump up on these crumbled bits of the building, then climb up the side here, and let them have it. On well, we may have ran out of ideas. So here's a very impractical spot, I'd be impressed if you can do anything with it. For Night Market, as soon as you round this corner here, jump and start a charge. In this example, we curve towards the left side so you don't hit the middle block, but obviously do the opposite if you try this charge from the other side. For Garden, this charge is for movement and the fastest way back to point. Come out the spawn door, you can start on either side, but it's easier to just always do it from the right. Put your back against the ship, then charge on through. Make sure to hold the jump button so by the time you reach the ledge, you get that extra little hop to clear the gap. It's also important to know if the initial barriers aren't broken, you will fall. So swing during the hop to break them. For control center, a lot of the time, your team will be stuck at this choke and can't break through. One way to make some space is to come out the top side of your spawn and start your charge just beside the plant and curve towards the door to drop the enemy off to his death. On Sanctum, you can actually charge across this ledge here to the other side, which can definitely surprise some enemies. There's nothing special about this setup, just go straight and don't curve towards the wall or else you might hit the wall and fall. On Shrine, this one is a movement charge in order to cross the high grounds to start fights on the opposite side and confuse the shit out of them. Begin by jumping on this middle wall, walk near the edge, start your charge, bounce off the middle tower to make it to the other side. On Village, you can start a charge close to the bottom of these stairs here in order to toss the enemy off the map. Nice and easy. For City Center, this charge is the classic one you see on Reddit all the time, which is you use the jump pad and charge over the top of the building for a flank shutter. Make sure to hit the ledge here to stop your momentum or else you fly into the enemy spawn. You also want to start your charge as you're coming up on the jump pad, or else you won't be able to clear the building. Now I also have this bonus charge that is obviously the most practical way to eliminate the enemy fire. For this one, you'll need your Zarya to bubble you so you don't die to the car, jump just before it hits you, bounce off the windshield, do a 180, and charge. Good luck. For gardens, Start your charge on the grass patch around the middle, and it will be the perfect distance to toss the enemy off the map. Not much to it. For University, this charge is for retaking this choke, or to aggressively go for an enemy outside the mini health back room. Starting point is not as important for this example, because the ledge of the map is curved. So if you need more time, curve along the staircase as needed. That is all the Ryan charges. Hopefully you guys learned something. Follow Liam, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for having me, CarQ. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Liam underscore W. Oh. <laughs>